so now I have printed out a simple hello world message uh, now I want to show you various uh, things that we can work with this a return statement rather than adding out text we can add up a bunch of elements HTML elements but there are few restrictions like uh, if I want to print out this hello world message in h1 element and let me end this up and let's save this file and let's go back and you can see it has printed now if uh, let me remove this div and it has still printed now if I copy this line and paste it again and it is showing me an error that I can't use more than one element within this return statement so how we can uh, add these two elements as one we can use a single div tag and I'm going to cut this and paste it right here so everything should be including within the parent element so that it looks like that it is one element we can't add uh, multiple elements but we can uh, copy multiple elements within a single parent element now if I save this and go back you can see that it has printed out this hello world hello world two times so we can add multiple elements this way whether it's a radio button whether it's a form whether it's a checkbox uh, text box or any kind of HTML elements so we can add up further things like in JavaScript we can add a different um, calculations like let's say within the curly braces I want to add 2 plus 2 let's save this and you can see that it has printed 4 so we can use JavaScript expressions to print out uh, various uh, calculations so after that uh, we can also use multiple conditional operators just like if we want to add uh, a condition and based on that condition we want to print out any specific message so we can also do it if I go back and let me add h1 and within this h1 I'm going to add curly braces and within these curly braces um, above that I want to let's add a variable var a equals to 1 and I'm going to use this variable within this HTML element so I have written curly braces and inside it I'm going to check out if I equals to one it's uh, a equals to one question mark within the single quotes I'm going to print out true colon false so let's save this and let's go back so you can see it has printed true because a was equals to one now let's change one to three now this false should be printed so you can see that false has been printed now that's it uh, for printing out elements and uh, now I want to show you that how we can add and write CSS directly within this render function so we can also add the CSS uh, inline CSS directly to these elements uh, if we want to write um, external CSS object then we can also do it so I'm going to remove it and I'm going to create a variable style and inside it I'm going to add a color and color is red and font size let's say font size is 50 now if I want to add this style to any of these elements I'm going to change this to P and in order to add the style I can use a style attribute equals to within the curly braces I can use the variable name so let's save this file and let's go back it hasn't printed anything so let's go back and uh, there must be an error because I have removed this a variable so I'm going to remove this line 
and let's save this file let's go back and you can see that the size of this text is 50 and it has a red color that I have applied from this style variable so there are different variations that we can use to work with it but there are some best practices that we need to separate out CSS files uh, we need to separate out components we can also nest our components we can perform and write various components and combine it into one so in the next video I'll be showing you how to write various components, how to nest components and show all the data of all the components at one place so stay tuned